Guys, Alec Pierce at the ranch again. Uh, beautiful day, I'm up here on the roof. Uh, I come up here quite often, it's, it's a nice roof. No, <laughs> I come up here because first of all, our roof is very accessible. Uh, it's very easy to get onto the roof and, uh, and we clean the chimney and we check the roof and other things as well. And the view is fantastic, I have no neighbors. So we can see for about uh, four or five miles in every direction. I can see the next little town, that's three and a half miles away, I can see the water tower. I can see Lake Simcoe and all kinds, it's just a beautiful spot. So it's fun to come up here. We used to come up here, I was telling Kevin earlier, my son and I used to come up here when he was eight or nine or 10. And we'd, in the evening, we'd bring up a couple of sleeping bags and pillows and we'd lay up here and watch the shooting stars at night. Yeah, because you know, there really is a Milky Way. It's not a chocolate bar. It really is a, it really is a, a formation in the sky, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, and we watched the shooting stars and the satellites and all kinds of neat stuff. No lights here. We don't have any outdoor lights when we turn them off. It's just beautiful. Anyway, I wanted to show you something that's been a really, really enjoyable uh, ex uh, thing for us to experience, and that's our weather station. When you live in the country, the weather is very, very important. And, and uh, it's hard to get very accurate weather. Well, it's hard to get accurate weather information anytime. It seems those meteorologists ought to go back to school. But anyway, uh, uh, if you're in the city, it's not such a big deal. But in the country, the weather is critical. We have hay for our horses. And we need three days with no rain whatsoever in order to bring the hay in, and other reasons as well. So it's really, really nice to uh, know what the weather is and what it's going to be and have a feel where the wind's coming from and the strength, the temperature, all those kinds of things. And you can do that. You can be your own weatherman, your own meteorologist, if you like, by simply purchasing one of these simple devices. Now, there's lots of them on the market. We've, we found this one uh, is made by Davis, Davis Instruments, to be particularly good. Now, they specialize in making uh, both uh, consumer and, and, and professional quality weather instrumentation. So this is the kind of instrument, uh, similar to this anyway, that even a professional would use. And uh, very simple, it comes in a, just this white thing on the top here, and I mounted it on a, um, I think that's a two inch, inch and a half or two inch uh, piece of uh, fence tubing. Or the top tubing for uh, for chain link fencing and fastened it uh, to the uh, to the wall there to the roof solidly so it's good and solid we get a lot of wind up here we've had winds up here sometimes as much as 70 miles an hour which is pretty strong and uh, and it just stays there it's locked on there and you aim it correctly so it faces uh, the right direction so that the direction of the wind direction on on the console which is inside the house of course uh, shows the right direction so this is facing directly north absolutely directly north Okay, and, uh, and, and of course, it's kind of handy because when the device is facing north, so that the vein on here, you can see the vein, when the vein on here shows it right now, the wind is coming from the south, easy, uh, but also the solar panel is facing south, which is really handy because that's where the sun comes from. But anyway, it does have rechargeable batteries and the solar panel just sits there. We've never changed the batteries, never had to, and it works beautifully. You can see that it, uh, it checks the wind speed. There's not much wind today. Flag is barely blowing. I had the windmill going. Is it still going, Kevin? The windmill is just turning, but it only takes you about three miles an hour to turn that windmill. So it's not much wind today, but the anemometer is spinning pretty good. Uh, the weather vane shows the wind direction, and it has a, a cup on the top that shows your rainfall, which in a lot of areas of the country is very, very important. It actually fills up, and then after a certain amount gets in there, it dumps it automatically, measures it, and dumps it, fills up, it dumps it. Slick. Of course, it has temperature and humidity, all of those things. One of the nice things we found, and I'm going to show you the, the, uh, the console, the inside console in just a moment. It shows minimums and maximums. That's right. So th I can go on there and I can say, uh, how cold was it last night? How cold is it now? How cold has it been this week? What's the coldest day this month or this year? You can get all the coldest and the hottest and, and wind and everything else. So it's kind of neat. You can get all that kind of information. You can get it by month, by week, by whatever you need to. So it gives you a lot of information from such a very simple. This is rugged as well. We've had this up here for, uh, I think this is seven years. Never had to replace it. I've had it down, cleaned it off once in a while. I did replace the anemometer. The little reading device in there got sticky. It was refusing to read. And just, this is not a pitch for Davis Instruments, but just to give you an idea of what kind of company they are, I called Davis Instruments, gave them the model and serial number, explained the problem, and the fellow said, how long have you had it? And I said, oh, five to seven years at least. There's no, certainly no warranty on it. He says, well, don't worry about it. I'll send you a new sensor in the mail, no charge. Fantastic, huh? So it arrived, I put it in, took me 10 minutes, put it back up, and it's working perfectly. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. Weather station, your own weather station. So, 
let's go uh, let's go inside now i'm going to climb off the roof i'll go inside and we'll show you the console and some of the neat information that you can get from your own weather station that might be helpful to you okay see you shortly okay guys so now we're inside now and um, um I, did, I forgot to mention when I was up on the roof, this is wireless. Maybe you, mo maybe you noticed on the uh, device on the roof, on the actual transmitter, because that's what it is, there's a little white antenna about four inches long. Yeah, it's an antenna. It's wireless. So you don't have to be running wires through the house, which is great. I hate running wires around, so it's, it's wireless. A little solar panel charges the, uh, the transmitter, and it sends information down every, I think it's every four or five seconds, it sends information down to the monitor. Okay, here's the monitor. Now... This, this box, it's not very big as you can see, sits right beside my bed, on my bedside table. And uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's a very large screen, which is good for guys like me with old eyes. And uh, the buttons are easy to figure out. This actually does a lot of functions that I haven't used. There's a lot of functions available that I don't, I don't take advantage of. I think you can actually plug this into your computer and get graphs and all kinds of stuff. I don't, I don't take advantage of that. So now it has a light. You won't be able to see it probably in the video, but I can turn the light on and it backlights it. So if it's uh, late at night or first thing in the morning, I don't want to wake up Diana, then I just turn the light on. It's nice and subtle light and I can see the uh, screen lit up. But if you take a look at the screen, you you can see very simply what's going on right now the wind is eight miles an hour that's simple enough and you can see if you look around the the circle you can see there's a dark arrow right here that's where the wind is coming from generally do you see there's several arrows what that means is that the wind is varying it comes from different directions now the direction doesn't change a great deal those arrows are all close together but it's coming from this direction generally but it's mainly coming from where the black arrow is so you know the wind direction and you know the wind speed okay simple now if you if you go right above that circle you can see the date and the time simple enough and it's important to have that in there so you know what day and what time of the day you, you got your measurements now over on the right hand side over here, it shows the inside information. So right now it's 77 degrees in this room, our kitchen. And then over here is the outside, so it's 77.3 outside. 77 in, 77.3 outside degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and that makes a lot of sense because we, we have the windows and doors open, so there shouldn't be much difference. Okay? Now right below that, you'll see that inside, 77 degrees temperature, 52% humidity. Pretty moist. It's been raining a lot here. And then outside, 77.3 degrees and 48% humidity. So it's not going to rain for a couple of days. We know that. You have to be uh, above 90% for there really to be much of a chance of rain. And then when it reaches 100%, if you look out, you'll see that it's raining. Yeah, it's simple. Now, below that, you can see the pressure, the air pressure. And uh, below that is the amount of rain that we've received in the last, I think it's 12 hours. So you see that the pressure is uh, 30.1 millibars and, and uh, the, the, the rain is 0 0.06 inches. I forget exactly what the time frame is, or I'll check on that in just a minute. Okay, what else have we got here? There's a graph on the left-hand side which shows a change. You can make this graph show anything you want. So you can see right now that that graph is showing that over the last few days, it's been going slowly up. I just took a sudden dip. Uh, this is a barometer. Watch what happens. Let me just, just do something here. Let me change that to, uh, to uh, temperature. Oh, there you go. Here, now this is good. You can see the graph now. If you look at it, I hope you can see that anyway, Kevin. You see the graph was steady, and then it dropped suddenly and went back up. That's the temperature, which it does here in Ontario. Where, where we live here, the temperature varies a great deal. I have some, some wonderful friends who live in Florida and some in California, and they're always bragging about their weather. Uh, my friend in California, for instance, he says, oh, the weather is always the same here. It's 60 degrees in the winter and 70 degrees in the summer. Oh, that's, that's quite nice. And my very good friend who lives in Florida, he says, oh, I think you should move down here. He's actually from Canada because uh, here it's great, you know. It's uh, 70 degrees in the winter and 90 degrees in the summer. Oh, I guess that's nice. Well, you see, we get best of both worlds. We get 90 degrees in the summertime, and we get zero degrees in the wintertime. Now, that's what you call a temperature change. But anyway, those temperature changes will show in the graph there. And you can do different things here. One of the most important things that I find is going for the high and low. So you press high and low. Now, what this shows on high and low is pretty interesting. Um, this shows the high and low for today. Uh, we're going to skip that one, and let's go 
<clears throat> you might have to move this, Kevin. I can't, I can't see that. There we go. That, that's better. Wednesday. So that was today, the daily lows. We don't, so it was 52 degrees. I'm going to do that again. Let me go back there. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so this is today, Wednesday. All right. The, 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 the high 77 in 77.7. Okay, so that's current. Now let's press it again. The low today, Wednesday. Now this is since midnight. The inside is 74, hasn't changed much. Outside it was 52. At some point last night during the evening, it was 52 degrees. Now it's 77. We get a real range, a real nice range here. I, I like it anyway. Let's press that at the high low again. So this is July, for the month of July. Now it's only the 5th of July. So it hasn't changed very much. There's the highs and there's the lows. As a matter of fact, last night was the coldest it's been in July. Now, I, okay, are you ready for this? I'm going to press this one more time. This is the high and low for the year, 2017. High and low for the year. So this is the high. This year, <clears throat> 2017, it's been 82.5 inside, 84.5 outside. I'm not sure how the inside got harder than the outside, but it can happen. Anyway, so it's been about 82, 83 degrees. Okay? High. This year, are you ready? Low, low, 50 degrees inside. That's chilly inside. We must have been away for the weekend. And outside, minus 1.5. So just below zero, minus one degrees. How's that? You guys in Florida and California, that's what you call a decent temperature range. Yeah, we get variety up here. <laughs> anyway, so that's kind of neat that you can get those highs and lows. And it tells you the actual day, the date, and the time when those those highs and lows changed. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Now this, this again is, is a, this particular instrument is, the, uh, is made by Davis Instruments called the Vantage View. Not expensive, like a couple hundred bucks to get you one of these complete, completely wireless. This unit, the console, has batteries in it, obviously, but it also plugs in, a little transformer and a wire plugs in, so you don't have to replace the batteries, and it sits by my bedside table. And there's all kinds of functions on here for you guys who are really into the weather. Maybe you're uh, farmers and you depend on the weather a great deal or, or for some other reason. You can maybe explore the other functions available. But we have found this to be just great here out in the country uh, and at the ranch. It's been a lot of fun to use, and it's also helped us as well to plan things in advance. So we are our own meteorologists. We're weathermen out here. We have to be. We don't have anybody else to talk to. There you go. Checking your own weather. Hope you enjoyed that. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Talk to you again real soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.